Okay, I'm going to try this again. This is like take number, I don't know how many. <laughs> um, just all this stuff kept happening. Uh, but anyways, we're going to do we're going to do a video today, a tutorial video. Um, and the topic today for today is how to add a custom tab to your Facebook business page and redirect it when somebody clicks on that tab, redirect it to a website outside of Facebook. Okay? Uh, and you can also do things internally, which is a whole nother video, but uh, how to direct people to a page outside of Facebook and capture capture the lead. That's what this is all about. So, for example, if, you, if you're with a network marketing company and um, maybe you have a lead capture page or a replicated website or a blog, preferably... Um, uh, a lead capture page or a blog or something like that where you know you can capture the lead get an email address because that's what it's all about really is driving traffic to your Facebook page and capturing that lead getting an email address getting with them on a newsletter okay uh, and, and let me just tell you that these these videos are as much to my benefit um, as anyone's okay if somebody can get can get something out of it fantastic but I use these as a reference when I need to go back refresh my memory maybe it's been a while I need to do it again um, you know and, and I can just pull up the video and, and get the information that I need so it's to my benefit um, and also getting you know trying to get better or getting more used to, to doing videos so um, this is what we're going to talk about today you just look on the screen here and you're going to see this right here shop now okay that's one thing you're going to see this custom tab right here where it says more Yevo info you're going to see this up here right in the header image it says subscribe here okay and you're also going to see you you'll barely see here let me pull this down a little bit you can see this right here okay this this app okay so we're going to try to I'm going to try to cover all these things uh, on this video about 15 minute video so let's start with this here okay to add this tab this is a custom tab that you're going to add and in order to do that and I discovered this really by going to Google and just typing in adding a custom tab to a Facebook page and I saw a guy's video uh, and, I, and I watched it and that's kind of how I how I learned to do this but um, and it's called the, the website that you that if you want to search for it is called static HTML iframe okay um, and I'm just gonna go to that website so I'm gonna go up here and click on my bookmarks by the way if you don't have RoboForm get it okay this makes things easier makes life easier for you if you are going to a lot of websites that you want to save uh, and bookmark including passwords um, login information and stuff like that this is a fantastic tool but so anyways I'm just gonna go here I use this recently so it goes in my recently used menu okay and you'll see here static HTML so I'm going to click on that and it's going to take us to the page here okay static HTML iframe tabs and and I'm going to let's see let me see if I can blow this up so you can see there I'll just move it over so that you can see the URL okay you see it here the URL HTTPS apps facebook.com static HTML okay um, so you could you could go there so let me get this back over here static HTML iframe tabs okay so this is how you're going you're going to add the tab um, and you just click on this add static HTML to a page I'm going to click on that there now it's going to ask me add page tab now I showed you the uh, the the Yabo, um, Facebook page that we've been building but since I've already added the tab it's not going to show up on this down this menu I don't think no it's not so just for the sake of example demonstration I mean uh, I'm going to pick a page that I have that does not have this yet, and, and we'll just do it really quickly together, okay? So I'm going to click on uh, one of my other pages that I have, and I'm going to click on Add Page Tab. Okay, and here, 
let me see if I can I'm gonna have to move this over for you okay here this is the page okay um, and don't don't pay a lot of attention to this page it's a mess right now okay <laughs> I need to do some work on it but um, you know I, I use it for, for demonstration purposes among other things and I do post on it once in a while but I've got to fix some stuff but so anyways you'll see that it just added this tab and they call it welcome that's just the name that they give it okay but you but you will edit that okay very simply you just click on edit tab okay and this is where you edit the tab okay um, let's see here okay in this box here embed embed your website in your index HTML this is where you're going to put the code for the redirect on this tab so that when somebody clicks on that tab they go to your website okay um, and this is something that you can I was gonna say you can copy it but you I know you won't be able to copy it on this video but but if you 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 can you can free you can freeze the video and you can just type this onto an email or something like that so that then you can copy and paste it over to into the box okay or you can if you want to let me know I'll just email it to you but this is the code right here okay and this is what I got when I did my research the only thing that you're gonna to have to change is your URL you'll see here that I'm sending this to um, gurney.mission43.com you will put the URL in there that you want people to go to okay so you would simply copy that and then you would go back over here to this box and you would paste it in here okay just like that uh, and then the next thing that you would do is go to tab name and image tab name and we'll just change that from welcome to let's just we'll just say for the heck of it subscribe okay um, and you're going to do whatever you want to do save tab name let's do that and now we're going to save and publish saved done editing okay return to Facebook we just want to go back to the page now okay so now you will see that the tab that was called welcome is now called subscribe okay now we want to test that so we're going to view tab as a visitor to see the tab as a visitor mode even though you are an admin click the button below to get back to admin mode simply close the tab and open it for me hmm, I don't remember this okay <laughs> all right that that didn't do anything but I guess what I have to do is we, we need to test this so I'm going to click on that again whoops okay now my computer is doing something weird well you know what we'll just go over to the other page okay let's see if I can get to my other page okay All right, back to the other page. So this is the tab that I installed. I'm going to click on that. Now, if somebody visits your page and they click on it, they're going to go right to the website. But because you're the admin, because I'm the admin here, I have to go this roundabout way. It says open preview anyway, may redirect page, which it will. So this is just showing you that what this is what happens when somebody clicks on this tab on my page. And as you can see here, as soon as this one loads, my computer's slow right now. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Something's really slowing it down. <clears throat> wow. I don't know. 
what's going on here. Okay, well, anyways, when my computer stops acting, starts, stops acting up, there it goes. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, so you can see now that this takes the person to the page where they can fill, put in their email address to get more information about Yavo and so on. Okay. So that's kind of how that is done. Now we just need to go back to the page here. Uh, so that's how you do the... Um, static HTML adding a custom tab to your Facebook business page which will redirect people to a website outside of Facebook now let me go back to the timeline okay now you see this button here okay um, this is a new button that Facebook has recently added and it's basically does the same thing and it makes it really easy okay in fact if I can get back to this page, okay, I'm going back to this page where I haven't added this yet. Okay, you see this create call to action. That's what it says when you haven't done anything with it yet. Just click on that and, and you'll choose a button, uh, shop now, sign up. You'd probably want one of those two things or whatever you want. And then you put in your website here. Okay, and then you can go next and you can do... You, well, I, I can't go next because I have to do that, but it'll just take you to another page where you finish. And that will install that button so that you will end up with it like this. Okay, shop now. So when somebody clicks on that, go to link. And it takes them to the, to the website that you want them to go to. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? So, um, all right, let me get back here. Now, your head, your how to turn your cover image into a lead capture. You simply edit the picture and put on here something that they can click on, subscribe here. It'll, it'll let them know that if they click there, they can subscribe. Okay. Um, and to edit a picture, you can just use several. I use PicMonkey. Um, there's several out there. We will do that in another video. But if somebody clicks on that, subscribe here, it opens up that image like it always does. Okay. But as you know, it has this here where you can put in a definition. And I just put in for more Yavo info and just subscribe to our Yavo newsletter. Go here and provide your email address and, and uh, whatever URL you want their URL you want them to go to. So that's how you. Um, fix up your header image so that it also becomes a, a way to um, generate uh, the lead, capture the lead. And the last thing, of course, here is this right here, more Yavo info. Um, when you're setting up this button here, when you go to the next page, it'll ask you simply if you want to download an image. And you just download an image. It'll give you the dimensions. To do that and um, you download the image and it will show up here and, it, and it's, uh, it, it's attached the same way that this one is okay so if I click on this it takes me to the same website okay again I've got to do the preview thing because I'm the admin okay so that's kind of it I was trying to cram a lot into a little bit of time here on this video what I think I'm gonna do is um, separate some videos and, and get a little bit more detailed into each one but that shows you how to add a custom tab to your Facebook business page and redirect the people to a website outside of Facebook a lead capture page so that you can capture the lead okay Thanks for watching the video, and um, we'll see you on the next one.